lady here. Welcome back to the tribe, everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Yes, guys, I know you're all wondering where has Lady been and where, what has she been doing? I have not done a vlog for over a week. You guys, I wanted to come and talk to you and tell you guys everything that has been going on and why I didn't vlog for over a week. So, last Friday, guys, I went and they did the impressions for my permanent dentures, which I'm wearing now. I gotta get used to them. They're smaller than my other dentures. Do I like them? Yes. The other ones were way too bulky and big. But anyway, let's talk about why I haven't vlogged in over a week. So Friday, I went for, they made the molds and everything. And I came home. And y'all saw I vlogged over the weekend. I gave y'all a couple of strong vlogs. And then Monday happened. Monday started seasonal reset at work. Imagine walking into Lowe's or Home Depot and seeing the huge giant Halloween displays at the front of the store. This year, our Halloween display was massive. We started Monday. So Monday, we we're beating it, hitting it, and getting it, trying to get started on this Halloween reset crap. Then Monday afternoon, I went to the denturist to try in my new denture. Oh no, we did the wax try-in. Yes, Monday we did the wax try-in. Looks good, looks great, color's good. I want this, I picked out, you know, the shade of dentures that I liked, all of that. So we did that and I came home. I was tired. Tuesday, more Halloween reset, more stuff being brought down from top stock. It's piling up, work faster, harder. Tuesday, I went to pick up my, well, I went for the fitting for my new dentures. That took quite a long time. It was like 4.30, almost 5 before we were done. I went straight on Tuesday. After the denturist, I went straight to my chiropractor, guys. I was in pain from doing the reset work, all of that. I went to the chiropractor. I got an adjustment. I came home. I'm not kidding you. It was six o'clock something like that i go to bed by 7 30 most weeknights all right have something to eat go lay down wake up wednesday um sore spots if you've ever if you're familiar with dentures i got my permanents uh, a couple of sore spots were starting to form by wednesday i had four horrible horrible sore spots i called them wednesday they're like we can't get you in today we can get you in tomorrow afternoon all right wednesday overtime at work since i'm not going to the dentures halloween halloween harvest halloween it was com combination of fall harvest and halloween resets it was very massive and so wednesday I came home, my mouth hurt so bad. Four huge sores, guys. I took my dentures out and I literally just, I got a chocolate shake on the way home. And I ate, I ate the chocolate shake and had a few bites of something soft, um, took something for the pain and went to bed. Thursday, <laughs> Thursday, Heavy, heavy, heavy Halloween and harvest reset. More people on the project were working nonstop. Right after that, I went directly to my dentist 
to have more work done. I had four adjustments for huge sore spots. That took a while. It was 5, 5.30 before I got home on Thursday. Friday. I was so exhausted and so beat. I'm telling you guys, this week totally kicked my ass hard. Friday, I got home. I was so tired. And I'm just thinking, oh, what am I going to order? They fixed my dentures. They weren't hurting really bad now. And I ordered some Chick-fil-A. And I, I took a nap. And when I woke up, I started getting sick. Stress. I cannot... Begin to stress how stress can make you sick. So I had gut issues all Friday night and Saturday morning. Uh, I started feeling better Saturday evening. Saturday evening, I started to get a migraine along with the gut issues. Woke up Sunday morning, severe neck and shoulder knots, horrible, horrible tension migraine. I went. I ran as quick as I could Sunday morning to the chiropractor to get adjusted. And when I came back from the chiropractor, literally, I, going to the chiropractor, if you're in a lot of pain, can make you feel tired. And that's exactly what happened. I packed it with ice, my neck, my shoulders, I took a muscle relaxer, and took a nap. So here we are, guys. Welcome to Monday. Yes, I'm going to tell you guys right now, I have content backed up. So hopefully this week I can get some of it out. Ipsy, the Ipsy reveal uh, for August has been sitting almost all week, last week. And I will be doing that either tomorrow or the next day. But today I want to talk about... If you work outside the home, most of you know, companies have started making the mask mandatory again. I have asthma and I have reduced lung function. Let's put it that way. Um, my oxygen levels aren't always at 99 or 100. And what, uh, wearing the mask literally after day three, I started to have breathing problems, wheezing, rattling in my chest. And there was a couple of days I just literally overheated. My oxygen levels were bad. I was pouring with sweat and I thought I was going to pass out. So what I did was I thought I need to protect myself in some way. If I do pass out, these people aren't going to know anything about me or why I'm passing out over here. I ordered a new medic alert. I have a really old one and all it says on it is asthma and it was really old. I mean really old. Uh, early to mid 1990s old. Yeah. So I went on Amazon and I said I want them to know that I have asthma and fibromyalgia they don't really need to know about a lot of the other stuff, but this stuff is the stuff that they need to know if I pass out so they can give me oxygen or whatever else they need to give me. Anyway, I ordered a new medical alert. Y'all, that thing took close to two weeks to get here, and it's been sitting over, over a week now because I was too busy to even... Take time to look at it, but I really need to start wearing it right away. It is by a company called J Fashion. I have not looked at it. I just opened the bag. I have no idea if I'm going to like it. I got the rose gold. Ooh, I do. I like it. It looks really nice. It looks really classy. Um, I got a rose gold heart. Um, medical alert right now it's a necklace I was afraid a bracelet um, would get caught on things this won't 
Some it is rose gold with the medical alert emblem on the front. I'm going to use the heavy duty chain because of where I work. And in, on the back, I got a really pretty font. I wanted to pick one that I know they could still read. It has my name. You probably can't read it, but it has my name and it says asthma and fibromyalgia on it. This thing is very heavy. I paid, uh, after shipping and handling, it was only $15 and that includes the chain. So I'm putting it on now. Mostly though, I did get it for work because if I were to pass out, which I have felt like I was gonna pass out like a couple of times, like three or four times already since the mask mandate, again, since it's been mandatory at work. And I feel like if I passed out, nobody would know anything and they wouldn't know what to do. So yeah, if you're looking for a good medic alert, that is inexpensive. It does take a while to get to you. It is by J Fashion. They do engrave it. That's why it took me almost two weeks to get it. They engrave it and they send it to you. You get a medical alert ID card. Um, you put your identification information on here. And here is your medical information, your physician, your phone number, emergency contact, allergies, medications, blood type, special needs, and you sign and date it. This I will be filling out and, of course, put it in my purse. Um, I want to thank you guys for taking the time to come and sit with me. Um, I have a ton of unboxings. Right now, I have... Oh my goodness. I have three packages that are supposed to be delivered today. I have two tomorrow and two the next day. Some of them I will be doing on a vlog and some of them are not really necessary for a vlog. I just stuff I needed. Anyway guys, thank you so so much for watching. I'm sorry I missed an entire week of vlogging. I'm back. I'm pretty sure it will not be really bad again until Christmas when they do the TAT, which is trim a tree, when we have to set up Christmas trees and decorate. We should be good until then. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for watching. If you liked any of this, give it a thumbs up. If you want to hang around, want to see more, hopefully uh, more vlogs, uh, subscribe to my channel guys subscribe to my channel click that notification bell and don't forget to click all or you will not be notified i love you guys so so much thanks for watching and as always i'll smell you later